Today, we have training packs for all skill levels that you should be using in 2024, including three training packs at the end for those of you who want to work purely on your mechanics. All the packs will be linked in the description and I'll go through, show you some of the shots and explain what you're going to get out of each of these packs, starting off with the beginners. Now, those of you who are still learning the game from bronze up until around platinum, we want to first focus on a few things. The first training pack is called Novice Striker, a pack that solely focuses on being able to shoot and to improve your shooting. It starts out nice and easy, some slow rolling shots, and it works its way up into a few harder angles to hit. It's very simple, nice and easy to work with. It focuses on the number one thing you need to work on as a new player, which is hitting the ball where you want it to go. Now, pack number two for you beginners is basic dribbling skills. This pack starts the ball on the top of your car. Once again, it is pretty easy to figure out what we're working on here. Dribbling is another key aspect of the game, and the sooner you learn it, the easier it's going to be to rank up. Not going to spend too much time on this one. Dribbling is just something you need to work on as you start your game. Lastly, for the beginners, we have Aerial Shot Pass. This is the first step up for you new players. Getting into the air and getting comfortable will probably take a lot, but this pack is the perfect way to get into it. The shots start off a little easy, but as you get more comfortable, you can work your way into the later stages and learn how to control your car in the air with more precision. Now, these first three packs are just solely focused on a few of the essentials of Rocket League, so there isn't too much to cover, mostly just saying you need to learn these things, and these are the packs that I think will help you the most. Now, speaking of helping you learn, I would like to introduce today's sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by Boot.dev. Now, Boot is dedicated to building the smartest way to master back-end development and game design while keeping it engaging and eliminating boredom. They believe the smartest way to learn code is to make sure you are never bored. Boot.dev is online, self-paced, and designed to feel like a captivating RPG game. It teaches you back-end development from start to finish in the Python and Go programming languages, and they never want a student feeling like they've spent money on something that isn't helping them. So you get a 30 day no questions asked refund policy and a free demo of every course and its interactive features. They also know not everyone has the means to pay for a membership. So all the content is free to read and watch in guest mode, but the paid membership unlocks interactivity and the game that goes along with it. Now, boot.dev is designed to get you writing a ton of code because getting your hands on the keyboard and shipping products is the only way to really learn. So. Click the link in the description box and use my code THANAVIC to get 25% off your first payment for boot.dev. That's 25% off your first month or your first year, depending on the subscription you choose. Now onto the intermediate level packs. This is focusing on the players around Diamond and Champion. The first pack is actually another very simple training pack, Bounce Dribble. This whole pack is dedicated to giving you another tool to use when starting a dribble. It's adding another skill to your skill set. It's giving you more options when you're on the ball. At these ranks, you are starting to learn how to do everything, and you are learning which skill to use and at what time. Adding bounce dribbles into your gameplay is a really easy way to score easier goals when dribbling the ball, or if you're just in a 1v1 situation. Next up, Shadow Defense. Our first pack that doesn't focus on scoring. This one is dedicated to having you defend your net through a shadow defense position. You have to follow the ball, time your jump, and I suggest you focus on hitting the ball into your corners and landing in a position to follow it afterwards. This will build up good habits when going into a game. If you hit the ball into a corner, your opponent can't immediately shoot again and threaten a goal. And if you land cleanly to follow it up afterwards, you are applying pressure straight away. This is also a really good way to learn small air roll movements when it comes to those slight changes to make sure you land on your wheels, on the wall, or on the ground. Now the last pack for intermediate players is called Wall Shots. This pack has a big variety of shots so you can change what you focus on each time you load in. You can go for a simple air dribble, you can work on just clearing the ball from the wall, you can try to control the ball in the air, you can work on your double touches. It's just one big pack to help you with a hundred little aspects of your game. In my opinion, this is probably the most important pack for those of you who are below champion as it forces you to really focus and work on your aerial control, which is what you're going to need to get into these next packs. Now for the advanced players who are sitting at GC and up, the first pack you will need to start working on immediately is backboard reads. As you climb the ranks, people get used to playing against good defenders, so now there are a lot more double touch attempts or mechanical plays to make defending your net harder. 
learning how to have good backboard defense is crucial to climbing and maintaining control of the game. Once again, during this pack, you want to make sure you're either clearing the ball either to your own corners or you are trying to slam it back downfield as a last resort clear the line kind of play. This pack goes hand in hand with the next pack. The next pack is First Touch Practice. Now, First Touch Practice works on actually controlling the ball in these awkward situations like from the backboard. It's small things like learning how to take a good first touch on the backboard to control the ball and work your way out of defense instead of just giving them the possession straight away. This pack gives you a decent amount of options and situations. So take your time to work through it. Try different ways to control the ball and work on making sure you're able to maintain possession no matter what touch you get. This pack also gives you some easier situations like a simple bounce you can control into an air dribble. So across the board, this pack is helpful for the more stressful instances, but also gives you a little bit of room to have fun and go for some more mechanical shots and test yourself. The last pack for the Grand Champs and up is the Redirects XXL Hard Pack. This one is purely designed to test your car control abilities and get you to think creatively. It's about being able to read the ball, the trajectory, being able to quickly control and turn your car to line everything up. It gives you room to work on the different mechanics, a simple redirect, first touch control, resets, double touches, sidewalls. It's kind of like the perfect pack for those of you who want to take a step into really honing in on your mechanical skill. And for those of you who want to take the mechanics a step even further, these next three packs are specifically designed to work on and take your mechanics to the next level. The three packs being Double Tap Playground, Corrupted V3, and the Ultimate Psycho Pack. Now, these are the three packs I've chosen for you mechanics-driven players. I thought I'd throw them all in together because they all work on the same thing, your mechanics. Each of these packs gives you a load of different opportunities to train and drill your car control to the next level. I've been spending 10 minutes a day in the Psycho Pack, and within two days, I was getting closer and closer to being able to cleanly make that contact on the rebound. And during that same time, I've gone from nothing to being able to hit a few psychos. Corrupted V3 has been a favorite of mine for a while and has helped me to better learn how to read sidewall bounces and Double Tap Playground has been a core training pack I recommend to people who want to work on improving their double touches from different positions around the field. These mechanic packs with time and effort over time will transform all aspects of your game in one way or another as you're going to become more comfortable with your car control which will result in more control as you move around the field, both on the ground and in the air. So that wraps it up. A quick video outlining the training packs I believe you should pick up and add to your training routine in 2024. Once again, all of them will be linked in the description. Thanks so much for watching to the end and I will see you next time.